Hey everyone, welcome to Deco Easy. I'm Diane and uh, I hate you welcome to our channel. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Diane and I host this channel together with my mother-in-law, Jenny. We both live in the Netherlands and we love to decorate our homes, especially for the Christmas season. And today I'm here with a little Christmas video. It's called the, uh, yeah, third, already third, Christmas in July uh, challenge from Nicole from Nesting Haven. What I'm going to do today, I will show you um, my favorite thrifted Christmas items, uh, which I own actually for quite a long time since uh, I live here in this house. So that's a probably for six and a half years right now. Yeah, six and a half years. And I've collected some of my favorite items for you. And I will show you step by step where I thrifted it. Uh, I don't know if I remember all the cost of the items anymore. Uh, and I'll tell you a little story about it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have fun. I hope you have fun with me together. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, suggestions, anything else you'd like to say, please write it down in the comment section and Jenny and I will try to answer it as quickly as possible. Well, these are my favorite thrifted items. I am going to start here and then work my way up here to the last items. Um, first, let's start with this one here really cute but plastic topper for a tree uh, this one was really cheap thrifted years and years and years ago this was one of my first toppers so I cherish it a lot because I like the silver sparkling um, it is a bit damaged you can see it here on the back here is some glitter missing here on the tip as well um, and on this side here on the bottom uh, yeah, well, it's damaged throughout the years, but it cost me really less than a euro, I believe. It was so, so cheap thrifted. Um, I believe I used it for the first Christmas here in the house as the topper for the tree. Uh, yeah, I just cherish the moments with it. And yeah, I hope it can last quite long more for a while. I also use this for winter decor season. So after Christmas, I'm going to move every Christmas item out of the house. And then I mostly start decorating with white and silver items. And then I will use this one for my tree uh, as a topper. Because, yeah, ice, icicles theme, I think it also suits in there. So that is really cute in my opinion. Whoops, too bad my battery went dead, went empty. Uh, that is one disappointment of this camera. It really doesn't give a sign. Oh, warning, empty battery, please change. It just stops filming and then everything's gone. Uh, I was just about to pick up the second item. These two beautiful Christmas mugs from here. You can see it. Don't let them fall. Fillerai and Boch. I don't know if you... I believe it's a German brand. I don't know if you know that as well in America or England. Um, I think they're beautiful. Ooh, <laughs> to be careful with them. Uh, I use them actually throughout the year because they're really large. So you can make some hot cocoa or a cup of tea or a large cup of coffee in them. Um, put one back and turn the other one around. It comes from a series called Winter Bakery. Um... It has a really cute, well, relief, uh, I think is the right, right word. I hope you can see here. This star here, this part here, uh, it's a bit of a 3D effect. So I hope you can see it, but it's really hard to catch that on camera. Uh, anyway, they have many, many more uh, tableware items actually in the same series. So when I had these, these were my, ooh, did again, my first items from Philip Rainbow from a Christmas uh, series of tableware. I bought myself some more items in this series, uh, but not the same because they aren't available anymore, uh, unfortunately. Uh, they were actually not that kind of expensive, I believe five euros for a mug uh, for each of them. So I paid ten for these. Uh, I cherish them still the day of today, and, yeah, and I hope I can cherish them for quite a long time. Uh, which items shall we pick up next? I believe these Christmas bubbles. I uh, always try to thrift at least two items of the same collection, actually. Um, this beautiful Christmas bowl here. I believe it's really shiny. Glam. It's a bit of a milky glass. With some, yeah, what will it be? 
white blue glittering swirls around it and some artificial pearls this was actually I believe in an after Christmas clearance in a thrift shop somewhere in the Netherlands and really till the day of today I don't know why you would throw this one away I mean it is beautiful it fits in almost every kind of decor you want to have for Christmas I also use them a lot after Christmas because uh, I hope you can see it on camera uh, yeah now you can see it the sparkles are blue icy blue and I really like that color so I use them a lot after the Christmas season but also sometimes within the Christmas season uh, but not with uh, red for example I think this combination red with white I don't know I use them with my pink uh, Christmas ornaments pink silver white I think that looks cool but not with these two you should actually add some gold here in my opinion because this will be my theme for the year the red and the dark green these are by the way not thrifted just for decoration um, but silver together with these, nah, I don't think so, I don't think that will match because then the warmth of the color is gone. Uh, some more items, these were a gift of Yanni for me. They were thrifted as well. Uh, I find them so cute. I have more of them, I believe five or six in total. This is actually uh, the same story as the pink tree ornament, the pink tree topper. These are just so vintage, you don't find them anymore of this good quality, at least in my opinion, in Netherlands. Nowadays they look more and more cheap. Yeah, it's a bit damaged here, unfortunately, but doesn't make them less beautiful. Uh, really nice, cute mushrooms with a clip underneath. You can just fit it in every kind of tree or branch you want. Uh, they're also really cute, I think, in an autumn tree, so maybe this year I will add them to my autumn tree. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but at least I want them to have them in my Christmas tree for this year. Because I think they're so cute and I also there's a lot of emotional um, value here in these items. Because Yanni gave them to me um, for my first Christmas in this house. Then we have this wonderful Santa here. It's a bit damaged as well here. His ski hair broke. I tried to glue that, but... Yeah, the result isn't ideal. Uh, he has a sack with some uh, uh, gifts, a snowball, and a cute pine tree. And I will turn him around. This is the back. He has a flat butt so he can sit everywhere. Some really cute shoes, and it is so soft. And this is really unique in the Netherlands. He can bend his legs. So you just have to let him sit here, because that's why about a sled. But you can bend the legs, and that is ideal for me in a Christmas tree. Uh, just, yeah, tuck him in there uh, on, a on a branch, on a bench, <laughs> on a branch, and then wrap around his feet around a branch or so to secure it, because I know myself, when I vacuum clean the house, this thing would have been fallen out of the tree over and over again. If it didn't tuck it in well, uh, you can also tuck around a, a branch of the tree here in his arm. There's some space for it. I really don't know the price of this one anymore. Uh, I think because it was quite unique. There was only one of them, unfortunately. I wish I had some more. Um, and I also don't know why you would throw this away because this is so cute. And uh, really unique. You can't find this easily in the Netherlands uh, uh, Santa Claus where you can bend the knees with. Really cute so just sit in there um what do i more have for you of course this really cute polar bear also really suitable for winter season i think he is so cute uh first when i saw him in the shop i thought oh this one might be quite soft but it isn't he has also some icicles some shiny snow here on his back. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And, and this is about, or that's an ugly part, but of course, which is really suitable to place sticky butts here underneath, so you can attach them to actually any kind of surface you want to secure it in place. Because this thing really is light as a feather and easily tumbles over if you, for example, bump into uh, your table or something like that. Uh, this one was, I think, two, three euros. 
really cute uh, polar bears. I love polar bears. Uh, his face looks really cute to me as well. But I think you have to be really um, not secure, but. How do I explain? Not all the polar bears have cute faces. I find them a lot with ugly or scary faces and I think, no, I don't want to have that inside of my house. Same with Santa Claus, by the way. Sometimes they look really angry or not friendly and then I think, I don't want to have it here. They're scary. Uh, I don't want to watch it. Then we have these cute skates here. Made out of wood. Uh, really cute pair. I believe they originally come from a shop called Action which is similar to Dollar Tree in the United States. Put one away. Uh, not this one. It's the other. This one is more beautiful than the other one. I think they were usually like an ornament for your Christmas tree like that. This is a bit of a disappointment. The back does look just flat, ugly, not nice and round like the front part here. But that's okay with me. Uh, one of the parts here broke, but I tried to glue it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I tried to glue it, glue it, and now it just looks fine. Um, so just yeah, they were really cheap. I think twenty-five euro cents for each ornament. So for these two, I paid fifty. Also really cute for Christmas, but also really cute for the winter season. Um, what I also do sometimes, I tuck them together like with the cords like that, then place the sticky butt here in between so they hang like this nice and evenly and they won't stop getting out of place because when you let them go like that they do this every time. And I find that really disturbing. Uh, so yeah, a bit damaged here and then, uh, but maybe a spray paint for it the upcoming year will do the trick. Um, I think they're really cute, they're also really large because most of the ice skates you find in the Netherlands are really old-fashioned, big, uh, made out of fabric and that is not always what I like so I really think these are cute but maybe I'm going to paint them this year, I don't know uh, or do something with Mod Podge which I recently discovered and I'm so in love with Mod Podge uh, yeah, now we are ready arrived at the last two items, these ones are going to make a lot of noise because these are glass bells with plastic strings in the middle with green and a little bit of gold and red color and now this ribbon won't open for my finger they really make a cute sound first I thought these were plastic ones and I thought oh well why are they so expensive uh, <laughs> these are really beautiful you don't find these ones often in the Netherlands I will try to show you the center here. Does this work on camera? I hope so. But then when I picked them up, I was like, oh, they were gold. You can see it here is a little bit of a bulb where I think the glass blower finished the last part or something. Uh, the ribbon here is very luxe. You don't find it either in the Netherlands. I think they're really, really cute. What was the price again? Oh, I have to make a gamble. I think one two, or two euros for each clock or bell. And I think these, ooh, just put them down. Uh, these are really giving me the, um, how do you call it, the classic Christmas spirit feeling. They're really glamorous in my opinion and I love to see them inside of my tree. For example, they look really beautiful. I just you know I hold them this way, then they can't make noise or I break them either. When you have Christmas lights inside of your tree, the lights flicker throughout the glass here and these plastic things in the center. Uh, this one here where my finger is right now. This uh, divides the light really, really beautiful as well as this part on the bottom. I think they're really old. Uh, I have never seen something before in shop like this, but they're in really good state, so I had a real good margin here. I'll show you now a final close-up of all the items, and if you have questions, please write them down in the comment section, and Jenny and I to try to answer them as quickly as possible.
I hope you had fun. At least I had. Um, I'm really curious, what is your favourite thrifted item which you just saw in this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. I'm very curious also about what other creators or participants of this challenge uh, have thrifted. I'm really curious about your story. Uh, yeah, and Jenny and I hope that you had fun watching this. We hope to see you back again, uh, all healthy, in our next video. Until then, take good care of yourself and uh, yeah, I wish you a pleasant day. Bye everyone!